Good morning, Marathon. It's Tuesday, 21st, 2023. Happy Eat Your Veggies Day. I'm Reese. And I'm Kaylee. And you're watching DNN. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now back to you. Please be seated as we recognize our daily moment of silence. Thank you. Attention seniors, scholarships are starting to arrive. Check out the Marathon website under CCAPS or stop by Ms. Grossifon's office for paper copies. There will be a PBIS reward on March 2nd for middle school students and March 3rd for high school students. The event will be Marathon's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Each grade level and one group of teachers We'll have a team of three people answering pop culture and academic questions. To attend the event, students cannot have been assigned ISS or OSS for the month of February. There will be a blood drive at MHS on February 28th. Students 16 through 18 are able to donate blood during an elective. See Dr. Bellotti or Ms. Alvira for our scheduling form. Teachers and staff, please email Dr. Bellotti for an appointment. SGA will be hosting High School Field Day, March 16th. More details will be coming soon. That's all the news we have for you today, Finns. I'm Reese. And I'm Kaylee. And you're watching DNA. February is Black History Month. This month-long observance is a chance to celebrate the achievements and contributions of African Americans. Each day in February, DNA will highlight a different individual or contribution from the African American community. Elegant, swinging, exuberant, it's hard to find one word to describe the lush music of Gerald Wilson. One of the most important band leaders in the history of jazz, Wilson never got the attention of a big band arranger like Duke Ellington, but he was a major innovator in jazz music. A slim, enthusiastic man, known for his personal kindness, Wilson practically danced when he was directed by his orchestra. A lover of many musical styles, he incorporated everything from blues, Basie, and Bartok in his arrangements. While many other big band recordings sound dated today, Wilson's music still sounds cutting edge. One critic noted that Wilson's influence was so wide that even if you had never heard of him, you were often hearing him. Born in Shelby, Mississippi, Wilson learned piano from his mother. He started as a trumpet player, moved to Los Angeles, and eventually became a composer arranger, working with everyone from Ellington to Count Basie to Ray Charles and Ella Fitzgerald. At one point, when his career was thriving, Wilson stepped away from the commercial success to study classical masters such as Stravinsky and Bartok. Wilson is best known for his recordings on the Pacific Jazz label, which redefined big band music. One critic said that Wilson's Pacific Jazz music was full of gorgeous, gorgeous nuances and an elegance that has been, hasn't been equaled since that time. His arrangements were archived by the Library of Congress, and in 1990, the National Endowment for the Arts honored him with the Jazz Master's Award. When he died at 96, one musician said that Wilson's energy always made him seem like he was the youngest person in the room. 